Hello, this is Mr. Mobility and I want to explain to you what 4G calling is, how it works and how to enable it on your phone. Now, what we call 4G calling is also known as voice over LTE, V-O-L-T-E. You may have heard that term before. What it simply means because the name is self-explanatory, is that it is a feature or a technology that allows you to make voice calls over a 4G network. In the early days of 4G technology, if you remember when you could peg your phone's network settings to 4G only, if you remember clearly, anytime you pegged your phone to 4G only, you could not receive or make telephone calls. Yes. Telephone calls were not inherently built into 4G technology. It's a packet technology. In other words, it's for data, right? 4G was primarily designed with data in mind. Now, 2G and 3G technologies have voice calling capabilities built into them. So I could switch data. That's why every time your phone is on 4G and a call is coming in, your phone switches from 4G to either 2G or 3G to be able to receive that call. And for the period when your phone is on 2G or 3G during that call, chances are that you are not able to use your data. Now, what 4G calling or voice over LTE brings to the table is the ability to make calls on a 4G LTE network. It means that now, if you are restricted strictly to a 4G network, you can receive voice calls, you can make voice calls. In addition to that, it brings better quality audio. It's an improvement on circuit switch technology used by 2G and 3G networks and allows you to get clearer calls, better quality, uh, more robust capacity. So 4G calling is something that is here to stay. As a matter of fact, voice calls in the future will be made over LTE. Already in certain countries, 2G and 3G networks have been phased out. In the United States, in Australia, in some European countries, 2G and 3G networks have been shut down. All calls going forward on mobile networks are made via 4G calling. Even if you are in a country where 2G and 3G networks have not been shut down, you can enable 4G calling on your phone and enjoy the benefits. Like I said earlier, one of the benefits is that you can be doing something with the internet on your phone and get a call and the internet connection will not break while you're on that call. If you have ever used your phone as a hotspot or you were downloading something and a call came in and it broke, you can understand this benefit, this advantage. So you never have to deal with that again once you enable 4G calling or VOLTE on your phone and take advantage of the service. So how do you do it? It's really pretty simple. You have to go into the network settings of your phone, tap on the SIM of your provider, right? Depending on what country you are in. Once you tap on the SIM of your provider, sc scroll through and look for 4G calling, right? That's it right there, 4G calling or VOLTE, V-O-L-T-E. Depending on your phone's manufacturer, it can be labeled as 4G calling or as VOLTE. An easy way to do it, actually, is to just go into the settings of your phone, tap the search box at the top, type in V O L T E, and as you can see here, I have results uh, presented to me. Just tap on each of them. You can see 4G calling, you can see V O L T E, or if you don't find any results with video V <laughs> with V O L T E, you can type 4G calling again. You can see such results here. Tap on it, all right. And then I scroll down to 4G calling right there and I enable it.
Once enabled, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to do anything else. Use mobile data on your phone as usual. Make calls on your phone as, as usual. When calls come in, your phone will default to VOLT or 4G calling to handle that call. And your mobile data connection will not break. You can keep on downloading. You can keep, keep on streaming while you are on a telephone call. No problem. That's the beauty of 4G calling. I hope I've been able to explain it well. Traditionally, mobile networks started with 1G, then 2G. The G there stands for generation. So we're, we're talking about improvements, inversions. Think about it the way you, you think of um, iOS 16, then iOS 17, then iOS 18, or Android 14, then Android 15, then Android 16. That's the way to think of it. When you're thinking of 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G. Those are technologies that improve on previous uh, versions. Mobile phone technology started with 1G. It was just telephone calls only. You couldn't do anything else on it. Then 2G came along, introduced circuit switch data, which allowed you to make internet connections by dialing. <laughs> if you are old enough to remember that, when your modem starts dialing, you can actually hear it dialing. You know, you hear that sound. It's, you know, you dial to get an internet connection. Gen Z and, uh, I don't know, Gen Z definitely have no clue about this. Millennials will understand what I'm talking about, but definitely Gen X guys, hey, <laughs> you know, you, you know that experience. And then 3G came along. 3G uh, was introduced as a packet, a, a packet data platform. But it wasn't, you know, the most fantastic experience until 4G came along. And 4G came with lots of improvements over 2G and 3G. One of those improvements that came was much faster internet, but also now, you know, VOLTE, voice over LTE. And that voice over LTE allows you to make telephone calls over a 4G network without breaking your internet connection. You're not dialing in. It's packet data. But... The voice call runs on top of that packet data so that nothing needs to be broken, right? No disconnection needs to happen for, you know, your voice call to happen or for your internet to happen. And this technology is carried over to 5G, of course, if you are on a 5G network as well. And, you know, you're doing some internet related activity on your phone, you know, and a voice call comes in. It's not going to break. The, the internet connection is not going to break. So enable... 4G calling on your phone today and get rid of all the limitations that came with 2G and 3G technologies. I hope I explained it well. Let me know if you have any questions, comment below, and I will find a way to help clarify it. See you in my next video.